Hi, today I would like to show you something different. I wanted to shoot some pictures today and I realized that I have no f nothing on my LCD. There is, I cannot see anything and I, ex I su suspect that the contacts of the LCD are corroded or something similar, but you know, life is full of surprises. We will see. And uh, I would like to warn you about something and and there is a bit of hazard, 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 whatever. Uh, there is a part called capacitors inside flashes and they cause some problems. The first problem is, yeah, you can get electronic electric shock, you can do electric boogie or something and people won't realize you're getting electric shock, whatever. It's a bit painful. Don't ask me how I know it. And the second problem is if you short circuit uh, the electric, the inside, if you discharge the electric to the electric, uh, that electric in to the components of the flash, the electronic components, you will fry them off and you will just use it as a paperweight. And I need to warn you, don't just, just sue me afterwards. So how do we discharge flashes? It's very easy. We will just use an incandescent, ah, I don't know, it's just how to pronunciate, pronunciate that word, whatever. We will use a bulb and with a filament, filament bulb and you see some wire connected to the ends of it, blah, blah, blah. And we will just touch the terminals of the capacitor with this and it will discharge it. And by the way, uh, I will take it apart, the bottom part, I will take it apart and it's almost always the same for the most of the flashes, how do you take them apart? The way they assembled and they, uh, the way you disassemble them are pretty much the same. And how do you discharge this particular flash? It's a Nikon, Nikon SP80. Uh, DX and this flash is also similar with Nikon SP800. They are 99.9 uh, .9 the same flash except this one cannot do TTL with the new flash, new cameras and the SP800 can do TTL. So there are two ways to to discharge these flashes. One easy way one safe way and the way I will use. The safe way needs you uh, needs you to remove this rubber cap. And the reason I will not use it, I don't want to remove it. So because later you need to glue it back. So what you will do, you will remove this cap. And I have a flash which has already which I already lost that one. And what you do after you remove that cap, you uh, tilt the head 90 degrees down, like like this. And you see these two holes, that holes will lead you to the terminals of the capacitor. Let me charge my capacitor a bit. And this is enough. So, with with the help of these two two holes now you can discharge your capacitor what you will do you will get your that discharge thing that bulb and you will stick the ends inside these holes and of course don't touch the metal and of course don't short circuit them and while you discharge there can be a small spark that's very normal don't get scared, but you will. I got scared. So be, watch, watch out the the bulb. You will see it light up and then fade. Now the capacitor is discharged. Don't get fooled by the the, the by because the the bulb is not emitting any more light. Uh, continue discharging it and. Top it a couple of times because capacitors tend to recharge themselves. So be sure the capacitor is completely dry. But now your flash 
safe to disassemble. And now I will show you how you can take it apart. Mm -hmm.